This is JRD speaking, and today is Halloween, trick or treat. I want all your candy. I don't know the song. And there's a, a trend going on about doing videos throughout the years of how to survive a horror movie or a Halloween costumes and things of that nature. I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something, and it's gonna be about. Oh, what? Five. Be consistent, my friend. And I ain't talking about that if you do something a certain day, at a certain time, all the time, that's the kind of routine you should have. No, I'm talking about the kind of routine that will get you killed. Like, if you live with someone, you always send them a text message prior and after you get out of work or when you get home, when you are home, when you're heading out. Because that way, if something does happen to you, at least the police will be able to locate the time period in which it happened. Number four. Ah. Exit map. You know one of those maps that you see in the buildings that says you're here and then shows you the room, different rooms and the different exits kind of thing? Yeah. You should have that kind of map in your noggin of your own house even if it is a second story in which your room is located because you don't know where if someone does come randomly into your house how to protect yourself and everything how to get out of the situation before they even realize you're home you know if you're in the second store part of the house you don't want to be vulnerable because the only exit you think you have is like right going down the stairs no you gotta surprise yourself, you gotta find a place to hide that is not obvious, like under the bed or into the closet. And that kind of thing, jump out of the window, I don't know, find a way to climb out. It's your life! Number three. Yeah. Weaponize yourself. And uh, you know that mistake that people make of having all the things that could be used as weapons in the first floor or away from them, from their home? Yeah, don't be one of those people. Have either a gun, a bat, a knife, whatever. Something you can use as a weapon. The best weapon you can use against someone that is invading your home is something that they don't expect that you will use as a weapon like a, like this kind of size of figurine that could be like a dog kind of figurine but it's very hard as F so yeah no one's gonna expect for you to grab that thing and smash it all over the faces number two GTFO and I'm quoting Ryan Higa here people just letting you know I swear, if you feel like something, if you see something unusual going on, like if you go down the street that is deserted and you suddenly see a bunch of group of people, like that's the first sign of trouble, you know, you're on your own, they're a group, you don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, if you're walking, jogging, a piece of that nature, if someone suddenly gets out of the vehicle, if someone you see is looking at you. Through the, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of that thing. Through their window, I don't know, and they're watching you. You notice it and stuff. G T F O. Don't go help them because they have supposedly a tire with a problem. Um, they can't reach something or things of that nature. You don't know who that person is. You don't know their intentions. Not even in the past that was okay because there came a point when being too trusting cost you your life and is no different now than it was then. Number one. Use your noggin. Let's use logic people right now. Don't leave your house or your car in unlocked. I forgot how to speak English. Watch methods of survivals in horror movies because I doubt that you're actually going to look at the documentary are gonna go to a class for self-defense or you're gonna read something on Google or on some book. I doubt that so use those horror movies for something. 
other than create suspense and, and nightmares in your life. Don't be in a deserted place for long periods of time. Call, FaceTime someone. I don't know. Just avoid being in a very deserted area at ungodly hours of the day or night by yourself. That's just creepy in itself. Imagine when a stranger just approaches you saying that they're going to help you. God bless if they help you, but if they don't, no one knew you were there. Be wary of people because you don't know what their intentions are and you cannot trust everybody you meet, no matter how fantastic their aura is because sociopaths have a fantastic aura on them and they then turn out to be awesome and very smart ass killers. Have your phone on vibrate and in a hidden place in your body because if something does happen at least you can just dial and let it like in your pocket or something and then the entire event is happening and someone can track down the damn call but you better call 911, don't call your friend, because your friend's not going to come out and help you. Your friend, your friend may go into a panic. 911 at least will just look and try to track the damn call. Why do you think you have a phone? And finally, trust your godforsaken instincts. They are there for a reason. Animals have it. All living things basically have it. I think even plants have it. It's a method of survival. Listen to the damn thing and stop ignoring it. It can cost you your life. And that is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment because I'll be making videos every Sunday except this time because Halloween is awesome. I'm still going to post on Sunday, but, you know, Halloween is awesome. I decided maybe you deserve a video or something. And if you're wondering why am I so colorful and ish, it's because I forgot. And so this is only partially the outfit I was thinking, I'm thinking of using. And I'm not doing it right now. It's just, I'm, I'm in my pajamas, so. I don't care. Anyways, love yourselves and be yourselves because being yourself is like the most beautiful thing in the world. I am out, people. You got to be effing kidding me. I just realized that one of my lashes be moving, be, like it was not, like I think both of them wasn't in the right place during the entire filming, but because I'm gonna be late if I don't post it now, I don't give an F. I don't give an F. I don't give an F. I'm still gonna go post it and you can see it's still not in the right place. I can't, I can't even see there. I can't see it's in your, your. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? This is what you do, this is what you do. I solved it. Mm-hmm. Happy Halloween! Yeah.